Okay, so here is the virtual tour of 911 West Wolfram, Unit 3. Here is the house. You're at the very top up there, those top two windows. And we are situated on the corner of an alley that is diversity straight down there. Um, nice, quiet residential street, lots of good parking um, with a permit. So we'll make our way up. All right, so as I mentioned, we are the third unit, very top third floor. This is the second floor tenant. And then here we have a little landing for storage. We like to use it to keep our wet umbrellas, etc., boots, that kind of thing. Okay. So you're gonna see my husband James for scale um, once in a while here, 6'4". Um, I should start by saying that the entire apartment makes a circle, but we're gonna kind of go through um, the natural orientation. So we've just come in this door here into what we're using as the living room. No central AC or heat, but we do have this gas and electric unit that does come with a little thermostat back here in the corner. Has been more than adequate for keeping us warm in the winters. James, feel free to throw in anything. This room is pretty large. As you can see, we're using it kind of um, as our living slash dining room, pretty long. You wanna step in there for scale, buddy? This yeah, I, I can't touch them, but he can. Um, and then um, we can fit, you know, a full, pretty, pretty full-size dining table over there. We just have it folded up for the time being. All right, so we are circling back around to go into the kitchen. Dishwasher, washer dryer, very European here in the kitchen space. Um, decent cabinetry here. There's also some lower cabinets down here for additional storage. Um, back door, we'll go out that way in just a little bit. And then a full pantry. Thank you, James. Thank you, Vanna. Lots of good storage space. All right. All right, so coming back down this other hallway, and as you can probably see if I stand back this way, will you step out of frame here? That is where we came in, and we're gonna just circle our way all the way back around. Bathroom here, decent size, does the job. There is a window and some new tiling in the shower. And then just tucked behind the corner here, we've got another little storage closet. Lots of storage in this apartment. Let me see if I can squeeze you in there. There you go. Lots to keep in there. Little lower cabinet storage here as well. Didn't turn on the shower, but good water pressure. All right, thank you. Additional storage closet. Um, the room we're about to go into, we are currently using as an office, but prior tenants, I believe, did use it as the bedroom, so I think this would be the primary closet for that. Um, you can see there's these two rods here, but let me smush all this aside. You can see there is a lot here, this way, a lot of additional storage um, towards the back. Great, thank you. And then here we are in what we're currently using as the office. We have managed to really comfortably fit a queen-sized air mattress in this room. Let me try to get a couple, couple different angles. Full circle. There we go. Yep. Great. And I will bring your attention here to this little miniature closet. So because we are on the top floor, there's a lot of dormered corners, dormered ceilings. Um, but this goes pretty far back. Um, I am only about 5'4", so I can get in and stand up in here. My husband, not so much. Um, but you can see that this runs all the way back to what would be the front of the house. So tons of storage for your boxes and suitcases and whatever else you have. I'm not going to close this because my cat 
just disappeared. Okay, and then we are coming into what we are currently using as our bedroom. Previous tenants were using this as their living room space. We have a king size bed, so for scale, um, <laughs> there is a lot of space in this room. And then here's where it becomes really apparent that the apartment is in fact a full loop. So front door right there underneath the, um, or right where the red mat is. <laughs> Thanks James. Um, and then of course we just came all the way back through that way. Windows here look out onto the street well from where we just came in. There are some built-ins here behind this door. And then finally, another closet. Quirky storage spaces, but very functional. So again, a good place to put, you know, your hanging items. However, much like in the office space, there is this additional dormered area. Again, at 5'4", I can fit in here, but this goes all the way back and then does have some additional storage down behind. So if you have a lot of stuff, this is the place for you. What am I missing, James? Go out back. Okay, fantastic. All right, we're gonna cut right back through the living room here. I'll show out the windows. This overlooks the little alley, your trash cans and recycling are down that way. The washer and dryer is running currently. You might hear that, so they work just fine. Great. All right, now we have this little window, which is where, well, which is where we are about to go. Um, this is a little kind of sunroom porch deck area that is fully enclosed. Thank you. Um, also, your back entry. So we'll go down those stairs in here in just a second. But another landing, which I guess theoretically could be used as an additional sitting area. It's not insulated in the same way that the rest of the unit is, so it does get a little chilly and or hot, but um, great for extra stuff. There's your breaker. All right, so. Nice little spot to keep your plants, have some lounge chairs. There are some, you might see them here, some um, hooks and the like from where a previous tenant had set up a hanging hammock. So that is a possibility if you too have a hammock. Um, and then if you direct your attention up here, there are some uh, cafe lights, again, left behind by a previous tenant, but it makes it really charming out here, especially in the summertime. We'll just overlook this so we will go out there. Garage is detached, not um, part of the property, but there is a little, well, you can't see it, but yard down there and we'll go down that way. And then my plant is in the way, but just some additional storage here. Let me see if I can nudge it open. Uh, kind of, got some AC units, any other kind of like, um, probably sporting goods or anything like that would go back there well. Okay. And then your back stairs. All right, so this is a shared deck space. These would be again the second floor um, tenants here in front of us. So you do have this little square for um, a chair or a plant or whatever you see fit little yard back here. We'll go ahead and walk all the way down just so I can point out that there is a basement storage. We don't need to use it because we have so much storage in our unit, but we'll show it off. First floor tenants here. Little yard that I mentioned. basement with additional options for storage once you go through that door. I don't have my keys with me, but here we go. This pops you right back out onto that alley that I mentioned. Wolfram right there. Diversity right down there. Yet again, here is the house. We're at that very top unit up there, and that is the tour.